Welcome to Roots and Knuckles. I am Tiffany. If you're new here, welcome. So excited you're here. And if you have been here, love you. Thanks for watching my channel. So anyway, so today I'm gonna go over what I do in the summer, my little morning routine and how productive um, I try to be. Uh, so let's go over my little summer morning routine. Okay, first of all, I wake up pretty early. I wake up between 5.30 to around 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, some people might think it's crazy, why do you wake up so early, but uh, my morning is super precious to me. If you don't know, I have three kids, um, 24 chickens and ducks, and one big golden retriever. So my life is pretty insane. So my morning that I have kind of carved out for myself, like that one hour that I get to be alone, is super, super important. That's why I wake up at 5.30 in the morning. First of all, I drink this grapefruit, um, grapefruit apple cider vinegar, warm water in the morning. That's the first thing I do every morning. Um, I have a little grapefruit tree um, in the back, so I always pick my grapefruits. Or It could be lemon, it could be lime, it could be anything citrus. Um, but this is the first thing I drink in the morning. It's super important. I kind of like cleansing the body, you know, because you're so dehydrated from the overnight, you have to kind of put that uh, water back in um, into your system. And for me, well, I'm Asian, I'm Chinese, so my mom always tells me, don't drink anything cold, it's not good for you. So <laughs> I kind of have that instilled in me. So I always drink warm water in the morning, especially if it's better for your body and I don't know, it's just better, I guess. Like, you know, whatever my mom says. But um, anyway, so after I drink this water, um, I've been practicing meditation uh, since my my life is pretty crazy. It's really, really insane with all the, with you know with taking care of the kids and you know taking the household and working and everything. It could it could be really overwhelming. So this is kind of the thing that I I picked up on, and I have been feeling the difference. Um, I've been only meditating for over a couple months, but I do see the difference when I don't meditate and when I do meditate. And the crazy thing is that my little, you know, Sadie has fell in love with it too. So um, I meditate in the morning by myself. Like I only do around 10, 15 minutes, depending what time I wake up. So after I, I do my little meditation, um, I feel really good. It's almost like you're rejuvenating your brain. And one thing that I have to say is that I have cut out screen time in the morning. Um, I used to just, you know, when you wake up in the morning, you look at your phone and see your emails, your messages, your social media. And since I'm, this is my job now, I, you know, it's, it's hard not to. But I did cut that out of my life. The first hour um, into my morning, I don't look at my phone, I don't check my email, I don't look at my computer or anything. That one hour of time is for myself and it's just dedicated to me and nothing else. So after I meditate, uh, I'll, have, I'll grab a coffee and I feel really relaxed in the morning after I meditate and after my coffee, I just feel really relaxed. I go to my garden. I'm a gardening freak. I love gardening. I love growing my whole vegetables. If you haven't seen any of my vegetable uh, video, make sure you guys check that out. Um, but I go to my garden in the morning and I, you know, kind of hear the birds chipping and I look at my plants and I go to my tomato plant and see if there's any suckers growing and I'll pick it off and, and kind of just maintain it, you know, kind of take away all the dead leaves or whatever. And yeah, that's just enjoy my morning my time, me time. So after I finish my little me time, I change into my workout clothes. I We don't work out every day, uh, but we really try to. Um, did, Doug has work uh, like five, six days a week. We usually try to work out in the morning. And let me tell you the truth. Like if I don't work out in the morning, I'm not gonna work out because as soon as the kids wake up, the day, my day is belongs to them. So. I don't have time to work out, like unless you know they're watching TV once in a while, and I can throw in like the abs here and there. But you know, you know what I mean. You just can't focus, so it's like, there. What's the point, right? So sometimes it's hard. 
Uh, so usually me and Doug will work out in the morning, um, probably around like 6.30, 7 o'clock. We'll work out around 30, 40 minutes. If I have time, I'll actually, you know, me and Opie will go for a run to get that cardio in. And if I don't run, I'll just hop on my Peloton for like 20 minutes or so. So my morning is super important to me. Um, it's my quiet time and I am absolutely uh, in love with it. And but usually I do have time. I will try to work. Um, it's hard because I feel really rushed into my work. Um, but I think that once the kids get back in school, I'll have a little bit more time. Since you guys know that I have kids, my day pretty much starts when my bosses, I always call them my bosses, my kids wakes up, right? So um, for me, the, our routine is everything. Um, we have pretty much the same routine ever since they were born. Um, so, you know, after they wake up, they usually wake up around 7.30 in the morning and um, usually they go brush their teeth, wash their face, um, and then they'll make their beds. That's super important because I make my bed every morning and if I don't if me and Doug don't make our bed it's like you just start out with like a bad day already so that's super important to us so for us and for the kids so they have to make their bed in the morning and they know that and after that our day starts like whew, especially the morning uh, the most important thing that they do is that Sadie loves her chickens we have 20 22 chickens and two ducks so every morning, Sadie will go out to the chicken coop, feed the chickens, play with them, get the eggs, and then Cody, he's not hes not that big of a fan of the chickens. Like he will pet them, but he doesn't like holding them. But Cody's job is to feed Opie, or, go, or big golden retriever. Um, Opie is eight years old. And we've got, we got Opie ever since uh, literally two months after we got married, so. He's my baby. So yeah, so after we get her, you know, after Sadie's done with the chicken coop, we usually will start breakfast. I'll start making breakfast and I always have something laid out for them in the morning. Um, I have these two boxes um, that I get from Target, which I get a lot of my stuff from Target. Uh, these little bins and I always put these like activities in there already that either I made for them or just something that I bought, like, just, you know, like writing or drawing or coloring and I always have that for them in the morning so when I'm cooking breakfast they know that after they're done with their little chicken coop and cleaning and feeding the birds they know to just go to the table and start drawing and they have their own little quiet time while mommy's busy making them breakfast so that's kind of a routine um, usually our mornings consist of eggs yes we have chickens we have ducks and eggs are so nutritious and we, I think we probably have eggs at least five times a week, if not maybe more. But we do have eggs almost every day. And I try to switch things up. We do a lot of avocado toast, scrambled eggs, omelets, fried egg, um, poached egg, um, scramble, whatever. Like we do a whole bunch of that. Um, so today we actually made a little savory oatmeal bowl. I'm not a big fan of cereals, so. We don't own cereals in the house. Um, we don't eat cereals, and um, that's just my preference. I like to do more of um, oatmeal. My kids like to eat savory, so usually we use like a chicken broth, and we'll we'll cook the oatmeal, and then I'll throw in some avocado and a poached egg, or sometimes I'll switch things up. But my kids love oatmeal, so that's a great breakfast for them. Super fast to make, and you know, other days maybe we'll do like overnight oats or fruit bowl yogurt bowl, whatever. So today we made an oatmeal bowl for them. And then after that, we just clean up and... Oh, okay, let me tell you something. The dishwasher is so important to unload in the morning. Because if I don't unload the dishwasher in the morning, then all my dishes will literally pile on in the sink. So it's super important for me to unload my dishwasher. And then after we're done with breakfast, I will put all the dirty dishes in then. In the dishwasher so it kind of sets the tone for the day um, we are very much a clean as we cook kind of people but sometimes when you're morning you start out the morning wrong and it gets chaotic then it just come crashing down and all the moms out there you know what I mean so 
it gets crazy if you don't if something goes wrong and just everything just starts like going crazy um so yes that's super important so we like to keep our house really organized really clean when the kids play with their toys they know to put them back so that's one thing that we have taught our kids to do this is something super new like i i don't know if i told you already but meditation is super new to me and i just started a couple months ago and i really got saved into doing it too and i've been getting them on this routine of trying to fit that in i try to just do it twice a week exercise first so we do some crazy exercise we dance we scream we just kind of like you know shake our bodies or whatever and then after that um we'll actually do like a meditation yoga session which is only like five couple minutes five six minutes long anyway so after that we usually take a little walk outside and um we love going outside and walk because uh for one thing ever since i had ob um i've been walking him every day we go on runs and stuff like that but ever since we had the kids um yes i neglected my dog so i would take him like to go walking maybe like two or three times a week um and sometimes it's really hard so doug would have to run him because ob is a very high energy dog he's a golden retriever so he needs to get out he needs to move so usually after a walk uh we'll take um this is really good it's really important i make smoothies and juice for them almost every day and um they eat vegetables this is not a way for them to because they don't eat vegetables they do eat vegetables, but this is another way for them to have like raw vegetable vegetables in their body. And they don't really, except from Cody. Cody loves like salads, but Sadie and Abel is not really a fan of salads. And I mean, they're kids who like salads. I mean, of course they're gonna eat French fries, you know, over salads. So I always make them smoothies in the morning, either smoothies or celery apple juice. Um, so you know, usually it's blueberry, strawberry, banana, kale smoothie or spinach uh, I don't get too fancy with all these recipes because sometimes if they like it I'd rather them just drink it, drink what they like and sometimes I'll throw some ki I'll do like something kiwi, pineapple or whatever but usually they love strawberry, ban uh, strawberry banana blueberry smoothie um, yes and if you guys want the recipe make sure to visit me on my blog I just finished designing my new blog uh, I'm so proud of it, so make sure you guys go and visit my blog, and I will link that below. So yes, that's my morning, my productive summer morning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I had so much fun making it. Um, and thank you um, to my friends, uh, you know, that are following me on Instagram, and they actually gave me the idea, like, hey, you know, can you do like a morning routine video or a afternoon routine video uh yes make sure you guys dm me and tell me what kind of videos you guys want me to make follow me on instagram tiktok my blog subscribe and uh subscribe to my youtube channel i almost forgot and uh yes i am super happy and excited and i'm super passionate about this this is super fun for me to share my life with you guys so make sure you guys subscribe and i will see you guys at the next video guys take care Bye!